Hey guys, this is day number 19 that <laughs> is going up, but it's really the 18 because you see your girl have her. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy. That was one of the most nerve wracking match I have ever watched. Like literally shaking, literally was so excited when Messi <sighs> get that World Cup. That, that's the ultimate way to get out, to, to retire, to get that something you work so hard for that you strive for and always seem like it was there. It's not the first time he got to the finals, but it's the first time he, 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 he's going home with that. Ah, I, I'm a fan, guys. Been a fan since I was a kid, since that crazy man day. Yeah, I know him. <laughs> I was a fan from that since living in Jamaica. I am that girl that always will forever be a fan of the team when it comes to World Cup but I really fell in love with Messi I just think he's just the it older and still show that he still got it he still can get that ball in and still do what he gotta do yeah so with that get that out of my system because I'm excited so, the journal mood. The journal mood calendar is up. Um, I'm literally just going to put it up now on my Instagram. I have it up on my blog already from this morning. But I didn't do Instagram yet because one, I knew everybody was watching the match. There's no way they're going to see that calendar right now. So, now that the, the you know, is down, I'm going to put the uh, calendar up. And then I'm going to go and make a quick announcement about the calendar that is up. Then I'm gonna, you know, I took all the pictures and videos, guys. So if you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you saw all of my madness. I took, I was dancing, I was screaming, shit. <laughs> I was doing the most. So anyway, I'm gonna take all this off, and then in today's video, I'm gonna show you what I considered my best purchase for my journal as well as my craft. For 2022 now I own a lot of things but these are gonna be things that I bought this year that have used at least um, used in the last two or three months minimum and um, not gonna be anything that was just haul because it doesn't make any sense but this is gonna be stuff that I actually did use this year and that I love and why I loved it so stay tuned excuse me stay tuned for that and I will be out of this get up. But y'all gotta see my glory. You gotta see what I'm happy and screaming and acting a fool. But we'll be back with my favorites. Alright? Hey guys. So, since I'm, you know, I'm calm now. <laughs> Got down from my, my excitement. My little high that I was on. Um, you know, changed my jersey back into being normal for a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> So, I wanted to talk about favorite craft things that I bought this year. So, these are things that I bought, um, that I've been using, that I enjoyed this year. So, this is journaling things. Also, um, I don't think I really have any sewing stuff because I really didn't buy anything but that, um my new sewing machine but i didn't want to put it in this video because i've only recently got it so i don't have it a long long enough i think to say you know it's a favorite even though i'm enjoying using it so that is the only thing i bought as far as um sewing stuff everything else is really art and craft things that i use to make my journal journal or things to put in my journal that kind of deal so we're gonna start with pens and these pen now i purchased this a few months now i think it's at least three or four months and i loved it so much i'll put the uh name of the the brand i loved it so much so you can see the nib how beautiful it is it's gold and i love the pink i love how this write i have not had any issue with this this writes so smooth it's just it just and just look how nice and sleek it is i i will tell you if you have a pen lover have them try this out it is one of the the more um um highly um reviewed um i would say um fountain pen that is 
price bracket is low um, where you still have an elegant feel to it it does have a little bit of weight but it's not heavy um, and the body is just so nice and sleek and it writes really really nice so since I've got it I've literally <laughs> reached for it almost every day um, I try to tell myself no give love to the other fountain pens that you have because you have so many but right now I'm in love with this so much so that I went and got the the um, red one to go with my junk journal for um for um Christmas and you guys know I've been um using this all the time in my junk journal this is the only one I write in for my junk journal right now love it so I always recommend these um fountain pen best buy for this year then we're gonna go to paper now I make a lot of these tags so when you see me with these um these tags and bookmark and things that i've been making and put it in my junk journal um this is the paper i use this is a um it's a color i believe it's a mixed media um watercolor pad um and it can handle everything everything it's very thick but it's not so thick that you can't bend it you can bend it so I like this because it's in the middle it's not too thick where you're struggling to bend it but it's also firm enough to make a lot of bookmarks so I make a lot of my bookmark using this and it's 300 G, um, GMS um, paper quality so you know it can handle everything there's no bleed through this no bleed through no, um, if you paint, it's not going to come through it. It's, it. It literally can handle everything. And I love using this for bookmark. This is my second book that I've used. Um, I've finished one before and I've nabbed quite a few of the pages out of this. And I use this all the time to make bookmarks. Next, let's talk about... Uh, I have a lot so I'm trying to organize it a bit much so let's go into one more thing I didn't show you guys sorry now the pen it came with this cartridge where it has uh, 24 so there's 12 black ink and um, barrel and and 12 blue barrel and this is what you know the ink it so it does come with its own ink if you don't but it also come with a converter so if you don't want to use the ink that they come with you can put your own converter in and use uh, the, um, your own ink so it comes with all of this for the price of what you're paying um i love the ink so far i'm going to use it until it's finished but it also comes with an additional nib so this nib it is a fountain pen nib, but it also gives you that whole, I, it looks like more like a ball, ball, um, ball point, point um, nib. But I haven't tried it out yet because I'm so used to writing with fountain pen. But maybe if I get, whenever I get another one, I might switch it out and use this to see how I like it. But it does come with options. So you just imagine you're getting um, this, all of this in here with this. It's just worth the money all right the next thing that I got that I really really enjoyed this year is I got one of the holder for when I'm using my wax seal so it comes in different colors but I wanted the green um, and I love the spoon that it comes with I have wax seal before that I just use a regular old-fashioned just light it and go like this and dip it on the page let the wax um, drip on the page. This I like. I can just put it in there while I'm doing what I'm doing. It's melting. But what really excites me about this is it came with all these wax seals. Look at all the different colors. All the different colors that it comes with. And it was inexpensive. Like in everything I'm showing you here, I don't think anything that I have here was over $50. Um, no, and, and, and if they were, I'm a coupon girl, so I'll find a way to get a coupon. But this one, um, I just love when I saw all the colors that it came with, I was so excited because this will last me for a long, long time. Um, so I like that it came with these and of course the actual holder for your wax seal. Can't go wrong with that. 
Then um, I also started using the spray um, Distress paint. I didn't realize how much I was going to love this because I just took a chance because I'm so used to the pads where you just, you know, put my um, dome thing on the pad and I just thought. So I got quite a few different colors of this and I've been using it a lot, especially the brown ones. Um, I have it in brown, but this is a green and I have like different shade of pink and red, um, a different shade of greens too. But I have quite a few of these and I've been loving these. Um, these just really go well on different page and it just looks really, really nice. And because I got this, I decided to test out this brush. It comes in a set of three. Can't remember where I put the other one, but um, the other one's a tad bit bigger. Um, but I use these a lot, a lot. And um you know this one's a bit needs to be clean but i use these a lot when especially when i use the spray so i spray and then i use this and buff it out on the page so for my last spread i think i, I that's what i i use this but I, I think i posted in my insta story so by the time you see this it, will, it won't be there but i use this so i love these and these i got from michael's these brush but you can get these anywhere i think they're they're on amazon everywhere you can think of and they're inexpensive so I also am big on storage and nothing more than when you have no storage space and you trying to minimize your area because as much as I feel like there's so much stuff that I have I still want a place to look like I have room I have space so I saw these containers at Walmart and believe it or not it's less than $10 all three of these were less than $10 um, it comes in a set and you can buy it that way or you can buy it I think the big one the bottom one you can buy it um, by itself these were perfect for all these paper clips I have all these colored paper clips in this one and I have um, these gold ones in here I use paper clip a lot when I'm making my junk journal because you want to keep the papers intact and it just these was just so perfect when I'm done I just put them back in here so I get to reuse them they're not all over the place I'm not looking for them plus it just looks really cute so I was like oh yeah I'm here for these then I have this bigger size one which is I guess the two small one combined and I do I do this with the washi tape that I use the most so I have a lot of washi tape. I have tons. I have like a literally a basket behind me with just full of, um, of washi tape. I have another um, glass jar that's near my desk full of washi tape. But I often reach for these. These are like the ones that I reach for a lot. I also have one more of this because I bought two sets. So I have one more of this on my desk with also the other washi tapes that I use a lot of. So I, I, I because it was so expensive, I got two sets. Um, and this one so far, I've been using, putting like um, in this, the bigger one, I have this um, paper clip that I use for bookmark that I have two of. So the one that I'm not using right now. And then this is for all the when I'm accumulating all these extra pieces of paper. So there's a lot of paper and things that I'm that I tear off that I'm not using right now, but I know I want to use it in the next um, collage that I do. So instead of having the papers everywhere, I put it in here. But I also, let me show you. I also have this one that I put my additional um, craft, um, lace and things that I put on my junk journal that I have bits and pieces of. So this is where I don't have a full roll but I have some that I picked up when I went to the um, fabric store and I will put it in this. So fits stack on and I have like I said two sets of all of these um, and I love them. I absolutely love them and I love how I'm able to use them. So move this over so where we at now so now we're going to get into my tools my cutting tools and i did a recent i think yesterday again if you follow me on instagram you might have seen the spread that i did and i did these circles i love doing these circles and when i do the circles 
and I put washi um sorry uh, glue behind it it you know pe on the paper it looks like I did like some kind of sticky paper um, that they were stickers but they're not they come out looking like this and this one is this um, this is two and a half inch or 6.35 centimeter these are hole punchers um, and I'm able to use this. I use this a lot. I use this all the time. And I have it in a smaller version. Do I even have it on here? I do not. Um, it's in the closet with all the other stuff, guys. <laughs> so I'm utilizing, you know, being organized. But I have a smaller version of this as well. Um, but this is just a... If you do art and craft, this is you will love this. You will love this. There's so much you can do with this. And this one you can get on Michaels, but you also can get it on Amazon. Um, it's, it's pretty much all. I think most craft, art and craft store will carry this. And again, I use these a lot. Next is my cutting board. I have three cutting boards. Um, I have one for my Cricut and I have one that I had for years and it still works but it's not as sharp and I noticed because again I can't complain because I've had it for so many years but this one I was able um, to get and I love this one I love it because it's wide and especially when I'm making some of those um, these bookmarks that it fits right on here so I know I can make the exact same size for all if I'm making multiple and I love it and the cut and I it, it can cut it says up to 10 uh, pages but I think they're talking more of printer page not thick thick like this um, it's not gonna cut 10 of this absolutely not um, but it can cut I would say about three with no problem because this paper is really thick um, but if you do it like regular printing paper, you can do that. You can do up to 10. But I, I wouldn't do it for nothing else, for no other craft paper. So this one also, let's see if I can get it out. Yeah, there we go. It also extends. So if I have a page, um, craft paper that's pretty long, but I still want to keep it bigger, it would do it for me as well because it has this feature so I love it one of the thing I also love that it has it has a lock feature so sometimes when you put something in here to cut and you don't put the lock on you can tell because the paper start moving around and then you may not cut it even I like this feature it locks the paper in it's not gonna go anywhere until you you ready to take it out um, so this one you can get a lot of different places oh and um why am I did I lock it? Yeah, I tried. Yeah, if you lock it it won't the thing won't lock. <laughs> so I love this. It's one of my favorite cutting board. Um in the future I would love the gigantic one where you can do a lot of pages. But do I need it? No. Am I eyeing it? Yes. <laughs> the next thing that I got that I am in love with, absolutely in love with um and this hole puncher i got so many different tools i have a probably about let me see one two six hole punchers and of the six hole punchers these um for eyelid um i have three that i use where you can do the eyelid crimping um and this, these are the three that I currently use that I absolutely love. The first one, you have this. We are Memory Keeper. And this is a popular one. I'm sure you've seen anywhere, everywhere. But it gives you two options. So you have... Um, let me see which size is this. One, I believe, is... Does it show you the size on here? No. Um, I think it's one eighth and maybe three something. I can't remember the size, guys. I cannot remember this, the exact size on these. But these are the smaller eyelid that I use. 
um, I don't think you can see it that well on camera, but if you can, you'll see this is a bigger size hole and this is a smaller size hole and it cuts it. This can go through some thick pages because when I do the closure like here for this eyelid, this paper is thick. I'm, this is about three different layers of paper and cardboard and this will cut through it. No problem. No problem. So, but this is smaller. Now, if I need the bigger one, there's two options I have. I have this one, but that, sorry about that, my phone. But I only use this one if I'm going in the center. So there's a project that I just recently completed that this was perfect for, um, which I will show you in a few days. You will see that one. And this works well. Now this one, there are some issues that they had. The company had um, a few products back where I think there were some of them that was faulty and they had issues. I got lucky. None of mine had issues. Um, but I like using it. You just clamp it. And this, this it gives you option here. Okay. So the hole for the other ones is the same for this, 1 8 and 3 16. So um, that's the whole size that you get for this. So this one is still small, but I only do this for like certain project. I really use this all the time, but when I do use it, baby, I'm happy. Now for the bigger holes, I go back to the old school. You know this been around forever ever you you don't have any issues with this so i go back to this one which is going to give you the bigger hole and this is a it says a pen gear so this one you can get at walmart they sell this one tradition so this is the one that gives me the bigger hole and then i have this tool which i need to get a better bag to put in because it's, it's a little ghetto <laughs> I love using that bag because that's what it came in. So you have this, and this one is the one that will seal it for the bigger um, eyelid. So I love using this. I haven't had any problem using it. It clamp, no problem, no issue. Um, and what I love about this one, I bought this one on Amazon, and it came with all these eyelids. So I got eyelid that's silver and gold. Tons. I've used quite a few of the gold ones, not as much as the silver, but I want to get the copper uh, rustic color ones as well. And But like I said, it was worth it because you get all of this and this together. Um, and then this you can just pick up in any, anywhere. Any store has these. And that's what I use. Um, let's see. Make sure I didn't forget anything. There's one more item, which is not on here. But let me, oops, let me get it. All right, so my last item is a stapler. But not just any stapler. It goes all the way back. So I can staple and make booklets with these. And uh, it is... It's heavy duty. <laughs> it, it is heavy duty. Um, and I played around with it and was able to staple a lot. I think I can staple, I believe 25 to 30 paper. I can staple with this, um, which is, you know, better than even some of the electrical ones that are just don't go through pages this goes through it like I've tested it out on a lot of pages and it went through it cardboard all of that I love this don't use it as often but I love that I have it and there's so many different projects that I'm working on for next year that I'm going to be using this yeah this, this is getting some use out of and I think that's it as far as art and craft stuff um that, that yeah 
pretty much that I would say are my favorite. Um, I'm always getting little bits of things here and there and trying out. There's some failures. There's some failures. There's some things I bought that I, I, I haven't looked at since I bought it because it just it didn't work for me for whatever. I tried multiple ways and it didn't work for me. The reviews were good. It just didn't work for me. This is why I have so many hold puncher and eyelid um, crimpers because I've tried so many of the other ones that just did not work for me. Um, I don't know how people are using it and, and I tried and I feel like what am I doing wrong? But it is what it is. Um, I would still try and play around with it because I'm stuck with it. What am I going to do? Can't, it's not something you really can sell. But um, but yes, I've, I've had some failures with some of my gadgets. Um, but yeah. But this is all that I picked up that I think are my favorites. Yeah. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end this here and see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.